Yeah. Fancy seeing you two here. <laughs> Hello, David. How are, How are you, pal? Yeah, good, good to see you, mate. Yeah, you How you doing? Yeah, Marcus? Great. There you go, mate. All right? Yeah, not too bad. We're obviously, obviously feeding you well, mate. You're still yeah. growing. Yeah. Uh, I played here uh, under 10s, 11s and 12s, uh, and then went and played school footy at Marston for two years. Bend in the club a little bit, and then uh, come back in under 15s, and then bottom age 17s, and uh, won the flag in, yeah, five years all up. So yeah, I spent my whole junior year, so I started in under 11s, right through to 17s, and yeah, just lucky enough to play in a couple of grand finals along the way, and yeah, that was, that was junior footy wrapped up. Well, here we go, boys. <laughs> The old cent Elton Central. Yeah. Yep. Plenty of memories here for both of you, obviously. Plenty of memories. Uh, yep. Yeah. A couple of flags here. A couple mm. of flags. Couple of flags. Yeah. What about you, Marcus? Yeah, we had five. Five? Yeah, she was lucky. Good. Well, you were in the right era, mate, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, we had a good team. Yeah. Very good team. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of good coaches, obviously. Yeah. Well, yeah, had you yeah. coaching us on a 17 flag? Yeah, mate, that's, mm, that's a while ago now, up, isn't it? I oh, know. What is that, seven well, When I had players yeah. like you, David, it made it a bit easier, mate. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about on this ground here, boys? Any any vivid memories from your past? Oh. I mean, any games where you really took it apart and dominated, or? I reckon uh, under was. 15s, maybe, I reckon I'd... I sat, my mum and dad were away. My two sisters come to watch me. Yeah. First half, got a corky in the first five minutes. Yeah. Got sent off. Like, coach took me off. Yep. And then uh, second half, my sisters have gone home. He goes, oh, I'll just stick you in full forward in the goal square. Yeah. See what you can do. Kicked eight. <laughs> went home and she went home, spoke to him, go, oh, did you see me? I kicked eight. They go, no, we left the half time. <laughs> the only time they've ever left the game for me kicking eight in the second half. So well, that's you a good memory. You here, always but... were allergic to handball, yeah. weren't you? <laughs> oh, no. I was in the goal square. <laughs> David just had a, a knack of finding the footy. He'd, he'd run hard, um, not a lot of time down in the back line. <laughs> he used to like running forward and he used to love kicking a goal, but very, very fit and uh, would never stop running and very skilled as well. Marcus, as he is now, just very clever. Very clever mover inside and uses the ball very well. I was a very offensive midfielder, I reckon, <laughs> as a junior player. Um, didn't really run too far in the back line. Um, used to love playing up forward, kicking goals, obviously, as a young kid, and um, played in the midfield. So, um, they were my two positions I played in. <laughs> Yeah, I probably moved around a little bit because I was a bit taller when I was younger, so I probably started up forward, but then Everyone seemed to grow past me, so I had to move up and, and change positions. So um, just did the best wherever I could, wherever I could get a game, really, and yeah, just went from there. I was pretty lucky, I had a good junior side, and we we won grand finals from under 11s through to under 15s. Um, and then I played another one in under 17s, lost. So I, I got an experience on both sides of the stick. Goes through a chance this time. He's given a free kick away, a chance, play on the call. Bang! Goal! Sakaris, the captain of the team, says, there you go. Yeah, I won uh, two premierships under 11s uh, when my dad was coaching, uh, which was a pretty good year. He used to rock up in the lotto tracksuit, give me the flick for that. Uh, and then also under bottom age 17s, um, I was a 16 year old and coached by Brett um, and won his flag, so that was a great year. We, uh, we had quite a celebration in the, in the 17s because a lot of those lads in that year, they'd never won it in those years beforehand, they'd never won a premiership. So it was a big thing for, for all the lads and also the parents. And um, we partied pretty hard that night after and most of them stayed around my place that night and um, yeah, staggered home in the early hours. And, uh, but yeah, Marcus was always, you know, just very talkative and very up and about about his footy. And, and they just both loved football, basically, when they were young. They were both driven, but they loved the game, and I think that's more important. Well, here we go, boys. The old change room. Yeah, it's a... <laughs> I don't think it's had any plans since you were here either. So what about, what about the memories here, lads, of uh, the old change rooms, ready to go? Well, this was... Um... My 16th year when I played on 17th with you. Yeah. That was the only year I've been here because we used the old That's rooms. That's right. Yeah. Yes. So yes. I remember probably a couple of sprays from you. Yeah. Uh, only yeah. a couple. <laughs> only a couple. Of, uh, <laughs> I reckon one game we um we lost to Yarrabra. It was only lost for the year when we played them again. Yeah. 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 That day, and you just wanted to make sure we didn't lose that. Yeah. Game that yeah. Game. I remember that. Yeah. 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 That was a good, uh, good yeah. day. That one. What about you, Marcus? This yeah. place for me looks, looks pretty familiar. Yeah. Um, yeah. I spent, yeah, we spent most of my juniors in this, these club rooms. They've decorated a bit more, there's a bit more going on. They yeah. Take a bit more of a signage yep. um, front nowadays. Yep. But uh, yeah, spent a lot of time, a lot of memories in, in these And rooms. the ice baths, you know, the old bins you would not have And I couldn't imagine you using them there, would I? No, I was using them there. Not back then, though. Yeah. No, I was. Yeah. 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 Ye
So boys, your, your junior development, like being at a club like Eltham, you know, what, what did it mean to you at the time and how important was it for your, for your progress to where you are now? I guess playing footy with your mates, a lot of the kids you, you go to school with and, yep. and share great memories with. I still, I think I remember Zaka giving me my 50 game or 100 game medallion, so just things like that. Yeah. But, um, you get special memories and, and this place is pretty special, I think, yeah. for most kids that got to play here. Uh, yeah, well for me back then it was a great family club, yeah. um, all the functions on a Sunday night after you play junior footy, um, I mean obviously when you win premierships you develop friendships, yep. um, I mean wherever I see you we always yep. have a joke about winning a premiership yep. and laugh about the night afterwards and the party and <laughs> yeah. even uh, that, that's a great night and all the boys that you see in the street that you played grand finals and premierships with, it's it's great but not just that, the actual footy club was, was a great place to come to, yeah. um, yep. we used to love coming down here and even you see guys that play here that, um, like even myself in the pre-season, I'll come down and train here in the off-season. Yeah. You might catch some Eltham yeah. players down here that yeah, might want to kick with you and yep. that kind of thing. So it's it's a great sort of family environment and yeah. Eltham's just a great suburb for that and the footy club reflects it.